most of us have complained about the price of petrol and diesel skyrocketing. But have you realized there is one segment of people who are actually benefited from this? Yes, the ones who work in the petrochemical industry itself. So what are the options in the petrochemical industry and how does one get in there? Let's find out from Dr. Nagendra Kulal, postdoctoral researcher at King Fahad University of Petroleum and Minerals, Saudi Arabia. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and smash that like button. Thank you, Nagendra. It's a pleasure to see you after such a long time. I'm curious to know how a researcher traversed this journey from Mangalore to Saudi Arabia. I did my MSc project in Pune Pradesh Institute of Scientific Research. Hmm. There I motivated and on uh, heterogeneous catalysis. Then I joined as a project fellow and worked in uh, industry sponsored projects under the guidance of Dr. Ganapati V. Shanberg. Later, I enrolled into PhD, Pune Pradesh Institute of Scientific Research. I have cleared senior research fellowship from CSRIR. In December 2021, I was awarded a PhD degree and joined as a senior officer in Geolite R&D at Tattwa Chintan Pharma Chem Limited, Vadodara, Gujarat. Mainly, I worked on designing of catalyst. It's a fine chemical company. Mainly, their company is working on quads. I worked almost a one year. Then after that, I joined as a postdoctor fellow at King Farad University of Petro Petroleum Minerals, Saudi Arabia. Could you give us a glimpse of what your PhD work was on and what its applications are, especially to the petrochemical industry? The poisonous gases such as as carbon monoxide phosgene using in industry as a carbonyl source for different applications. But it is inadvisable to use for its obvious health and environmental concern. And CO2 is a much better option than these two gases. However, it is a great challenge to activate the CO2 because it is a very stable molecule and inert in nature, but can be activated by suitable catalysis under different reaction conditions. For my PhD work, we have designed novel heterogeneous catalysis for CO2 carbonation reactions. My PhD thesis on metal oxide based acid based bifunctional catalyst for fixation of CO2 via carbonation reactions. Generally, we don't think about Saudi for a postdoc. Saudi is an oil country. King for the University of Petroleum Minerals, King Kaust. It's a well known university for heterogeneous catalysis. Tell us about the current work that you're doing and what does your everyday look like? I'm working in industry sponsor project as well as internal project for publications. Mainly we are designing a solid catalyst for absorption of moisture from natural gases, CO2 capture and CO2 conversions. How is it to pursue research in Saudi Arabia? What are the advantages? What are the challenges? The experience of working in Saudi Arabia is very pleasant as of now and the advantages are uh, we are offered very good package and facilities here. I don't experience any great challenge working here. The research is almost similar to India, maybe because of the Hindi and English usage in this uh, workplace and outside. Are you expected to learn Arabic? I didn't learn Arabic, but I know some of the meaning of the Arabic words. A lot of Indians are over here. What are some of the topics that you studied in your bachelor's or in your master's that you are using currently uh, as part of your uh, postdoc? Different uh, spectroscopy techniques. It is very useful for experimental researchers. Second is designing of catalyst. What according to you are some of the skills that one should develop if they should excel in a career of this sort? In petrochemical industry, typically reaction involves solid catalyst and gas reactants. All these process taking place very short period of time. The designing of catalyst for such process would be a key skill in this field. And how does one develop those skills? In MSc, we have studied precipitation method, co-precipitation method, hydrothermal synthesis. In come to research, you are designing new things and we are testing for the reactions. We'll come to know how much of reactant is converting, how much of selectivity and particular product you are getting. You have to understand understand the chemistry first, then we'll go for synthesis. What does career progression in this field look like? Around 80% of industrial process run on heterogeneous catalysis. So traditionally, it lies at the heart of the chemical industries. So we can choose industry as well as academy. In almost 90-95% of heterogeneous catalyst using in petrochemical industries. We can join as a catalyst expert and designing of catalyst for different process. Once we design the catalyst, then engineer will take this and they will make a process. The petrol and diesel, natural gas, every country is using right now from RMPO, Sabix. Mm. So in India, you can see this HPCL, Shell, Bharat Petrochemicals, so Europe, 
US, all countries working on heterogeneous catalysis. If you had to go back in time and advise your younger self, what would the top three on that list of advice be? The MSc project, hmm. some of people are doing in research centers. There they can understand the, what research culture, what is the difficulties in a particular field. So if they are interested, they will pursue later. If they think, so it is not possible for me, it is not suitable for me, they can move to other field. Are there any specific topics that you would like to advise that people should focus on while they are doing their BSc or MSc that helps them uh, in a career in this sort? You did mention spectroscopy in general and catalysis. DFT, density functional theory and artificial intelligence. Mm. So if you know these two and if you do the experimental, it is very useful and do in very good research. You studied in St. Aloysius College and you were taught by Richard Sir. So tell me, what quality of Richard Sir impressed you the most? He's very encouraged and helpful person and very calm teacher yeah. and ground to earth. Thank you so much, Nagendra. It was a pleasure talking to you. I'm sure this video has made you realize the importance of heterochemical catalysis and its applications, particularly in the petrochemical industry. We'll come back next time to discuss a lot more about various other career options in science. Until then, stay hungry, stay informed.